Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to focus the Onyx Laser Machine by Monport. To get you up and running as fast as possible with your Onyx machine, I have this video broken up into three short basic parts. The first part is going to reference attachment number one in the back of the manual. Part number two of the video is going to be about the focusing gauge that comes with the machine. I have some really neat tips on this, along with how to properly use this gauge. The first two parts of the video are all you'll need to properly set the focus on your machine and start creating your own projects. I do encourage you to stick around for part number three, where I'm going to double check the chart in the back of the book and the focusing gauge by performing a simple focus ramp test. The offset values are used when the honeycomb is being utilized inside of the machine. Let's get started with step number one, and that is referencing the attachment number one in the back of the user manual. I'm going to have that graphic off to the side here, and we're going to see that this chart has different thickness values in both inch and millimeter. Off to the far right side of the chart, we're going to see that there's another column of offset values. To explain what this means, and how to use it, we're going to be taking a look at both inside of the machine and inside Lightburn software. Adjusting the offset value is going to move the focus lens located inside of this assembly. I'll take the cover off so we can take a closer look. The value we enter in is going to lower the focus lens assembly here closer to the work material, putting it in focus. Let's check out where to use these offset values in Lightburn software. I'm on the Move tab, and where we're going to enter these offset values is the distance right here. So for our very first example, let's say I have a material thickness of 1 eighth of an inch, which we'll see is about 3.1 millimeters. When I go to the offset value, we'll see that it's going to be 13.82 millimeters. And this distance tab here, I am going to enter in that 13.82. And now when I click the down arrow button, it is going to offset that focus lens inside the machine down, as you've guessed it, 13.2 millimeters. Let's check that out right now. Check that out, it moved down. I just happen to have some eighth inch material here and when I place this underneath, I can see that this is now going to be in perfect focus to the material. But what happens if I want to change my offset value? What if I want to change the thickness of the material that I have in the work area from an eighth inch to a quarter inch? So I need to reset that focus height back to where it originally homed when the machine was powered on. And on this move tab, I don't see a home button, but it's cleverly disguised as Focus Z. This is the button that I use to rehome the focus on the laser so I can enter in a new offset value. Let's check that out. We'll see that that retracted back to its original position. And just as a reality check, I'm going to leave this offset value for eighth inch material the same, and I'm going to resend it to that same offset value. And we'll see it goes right back to the exact same position, putting the Onyx laser machine in perfect focus with the work material. I'm going to hit this focus Z, or I'm going to call it the Z homing button, and it's going to retract, of course, one more time. And I just happen to have another eighth inch piece of material when we add those together, I'm going to be doing the focus setup for a quarter inch work material. Referencing the attachment number one chart I see for quarter inch material, my offset is going to be 10.65 millimeters. And when I hit the down button here, we'll see that it moves it to the offset value. And once again, 
it is now in perfect focus for quarter inch material. This concludes part number one of the video using the offset values found in the back of the user manual. Part number two of the video is going to be about using the focus gauge included with the machine. I'll be using the offset values from part number one of the video and checking it with the focus gauge. I'll also have a couple tips tossed in there too. There will be some projects where we're going to need to use the focus gauge. This will usually be the case when the thickness of our material does not appear on the offset chart. To demonstrate using this gauge, I am going to preset the focus of the laser to eighth inch material using an offset value. We'll then take some measurements with this gauge and I'll also show you a couple tips. The laser is properly focused to this eighth inch cardboard. Let's check out this gauge and we'll see that the narrow end goes down to the work material and there's a couple of steps here. The first step is the one that we want to use and that is 50.8 millimeters and that's because this lens is focused at 50.8 millimeters. To check the focus, all I need to do is put the narrow end of the gauge down on the work material and that step should be even to the top of this plane. It really is that easy to use the focusing gauge. One of the tips that I have is you can also double check this by laying the gauge down on top of the work and it will just make it underneath the air nozzle. With part number one and part number two of this video complete, you can now go and set your machine in perfect focus using either the offset value method or by using the focus gauge. Part number three of the video is going to check the true focus of the laser by performing a ramp test. To perform a ramp test, I have some of the sample cardboard that comes with the Onyx machine. I'm also going to need something stackable to create, as you guessed it, a ramp. For that, I have some of my famous red magnets that you've seen on the channel before. I'll get the machine set up and we'll take a look at how to perform a ramp test on the Onyx laser machine. The ramp test requires a little bit of setup in the laser machine bed area and within the light burn software. First, let's take a look at the machine setup. Position the laser head at the very highest point at the beginning of the cardboard and I have a line drawn within Lightburn software for it to stop before it reaches the end of the cardboard. We'll also see that this ramp is being propped up by some of these stackable magnets and I have the focus set very, very close here so we're going to cover a wide range of focusing from the high end of the ramp to the low end of the ramp. In light burn, we'll see that there's this little crosshairs and this is the actual position of the laser head within the work area of the machine. Here is the line that I drew that we will be doing a line engraving. I've got a speed of 100 millimeters per second at a power level of 35%. We can use basically any material in there. Usually people use wood or cardboard. We're looking for something that we can get a high definition line engraving. And it doesn't matter if we engrave just the very surface of it or we use enough power that we can burn actually all the way through that wood or that cardboard. Without moving the cardboard for this ramp test, I'm going to do a visual check and I can use magnifying glasses or even like a USB uh, microscope and move it up and down that line. And what I'm looking for is where the line is going to be the thinnest, which is also going to be when that laser beam is going to be in focus. For this video, I'm just gonna eyeball it and put a mark next to where I think the laser is most in focus or where that line is the most narrow. After a very close inspection, I find that this looks like it's the narrowest right about in this area here. 
Next, I'm going to use Lightburn software and manually move the laser module over this area here. And then I'm going to use the focus gauge and take a measurement and double check that this focus gauge is also correct as well. Okay, I've got the focus gauge and I'm going to take a measurement and actually between the focus that I found on the ramp test and the gauge, they are both identical. And you'll note that I don't have the gauge off to the end here because that is not where the nozzle is. The nozzle is over here. So this is where I'm taking the measurement and it is absolutely perfect. And I'll double check that by laying the gauge down and it just fits underneath that air nozzle. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope that it gets you up and running as quickly as possible. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or ring that notification bell. That way, you'll know the next time some more content comes out on the Onyx Laser Machine. Until next time, learn, create, and share.